Hey, it's Acoustic Paint. I'm Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be doing a drawing using only fountain pens. So, we've got four different fountain pens here. I got these for my birthday last year, and I just thought I'd do an art piece with them. So, they are... They're not like ink dip pens, but they're definitely fountain pens. And then I'm also just letting myself use this black pen. I have an eraser and a pencil. I don't know if I'm going to be using them or not, but yeah. So right now I'm going to start doing some swatches of color and then figure out what I want to draw. And yeah, let's get started. Everyone knows what a pencil looks like, so we don't have to swatch those. And this is my favorite pen. It's the Stabio, Stabio, Stabilo, Stabio. It's uh, the medium Stabio pen, and I just I really like it because it's so it's very smooth. You know, I I can zoom in. I don't need to be that far out. Not that cool. Okay, it feels really smooth, and the ink just comes out really nicely. But we're not. We're not focused on this pen today. We're focused on these pens. So let's start with the red. These pens are a little more scratchy. I'm really glad these pens don't require me to have like ink wells or anything. Cause I mean, eventually they will run out of ink just like any other pen, but is this bleeding through? Oh, just a little bit, that's okay. Happy accidents. Ooh, this green is not amazing. Ooh, this purple one is really nice. <sighs> okay, so I've just been messing around a little bit. And all of the things when I search up on Pinterest, like art ideas for fountain pens, the only things that usually come up are calligraphy. Who that wolf nose does not. We're gonna we're gonna just ignore that. Go this way. You know, I'm just gonna start over up here. Ooh, or if we could do like some sort of flower. That would that would be cool. Ooh, I might I might just do a wolf though because you know that that's what I draw. But like if I did like a cool speckled colored wolf like that, that'd be really cool. Give them some sort of I don't know, like magical powers. Telekinesis. I don't know how to draw the telekinesis things. They just kind of look like jellyfish. And what he's telling everyone to do is subscribe. If you guys are at all curious, I, <laughs> one of the very first things that got me into like drawing and stuff were um, Mark Curley's videos on YouTube. I haven't watched his videos in such a long time, but I've always just kind of wanted to go back because that was one of the first things I drew. And I used like a ruler and stuff because he's like, make a box that was like three inches or something and the eyes need to be an inch apart. And I like followed each rule to a T. Like everything he said, I was like, I have to do it exactly this way. And I mean, it turned out I don't know, it's, it's in an old sketchbook. I'll have to find it sometime and show you guys, but it's just like, I've come a long way from that. Like, it was so, I don't know, it was just, I just am reimagining my younger self, like following his tutorials and being like, I have to do it this way. And if I don't, it'll be wrong. My wolves have become very stylized since my very first drawing, I like, really like to make their ears super big and I recently discovered that I potentially have been drawing coyotes instead of wolves. Stringy pieces from this moo eraser like are supposedly a selling factor but they're just so annoying. Mm. I used to put like when I would draw like a wolf like you this I used to put a collar on it and then just like write his name. What's what should his name be? Rocky. I liked that name a lot when I was a kid. Rocky the wolf, he rocks. All right, I'm gonna lighten this up and then come back over it with my fountain pens 
and yeah, we'll just see how this works. Okay, so I just finished my fountain pen drawing. I really like how it turned out. I think one of the coolest parts is this stippling that I did down here because it like emulates shading. I did use a little bit of um, my black Stabilo pen to do the shading, um, even though it's not a fountain pen. But overall, I think this turned out really well. I also used my 10 jelly roll pen for the eyes just to give them a little more shine. So overall, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe so you don't miss any future drawing videos from us, hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, have a fabulous day, bye!